Chapter 2. This chapter should be partially your inspiration, but also help further develop your understanding of what is, and what is not. In reading this, you will help to mature your mindset in preparation for what comes later. Recruits must remember that baby steps are necessary. You don't go from wet behind the ears to leading platoons overnight. Nor will you go from complete ignorance to enlightenment without the journey in between. Don't skip steps, and don't cut corners, recruit. You'll either be in ship shape, or totally bent out of shape when we're finished here, but the answer to which outcome awaits you at the end, is solely up to your performance now. Furthering Understanding A morsel of genuine history is a thing so rare as to be always valuable. Thomas Jefferson, September 8, 1817 a strong body makes the mind strong. As to the species of exercises, I advise the gun. While this gives moderate exercise to the body, it gives boldness, enterprise and independence to the mind. Games played with the ball, and others of that nature, are too violent for the body and stamp no character on the mind. Let your gun therefore be your constant companion of your walks. Thomas Jefferson Letter to Peter Carr, August 19, 1785. Believe those who are seeking the truth. Doubt those who find it. Andre Guide. Beware lest you lose the substance by grasping at the shadow. Aesop. Integrity is what you do when no one is looking. Unknown. The obscure we see eventually. The completely obvious, it seems, takes longer. Edward R. Murrow. A gun gives you the body, not the bird. Henry David Thoreau. A teacher is never a giver of truth, he is a guide, a pointer to the truth that each student must find for himself. A good teacher is merely a catalyst. Bruce Lee. If we fail, then we fail. Screw your courage to the sticking place, and we'll not fail. Shakespeare. Do the right thing. It will gratify some people and astonish the rest. Mark Twain. I tell you everything that is really nothing, and nothing of what is everything, do not be fooled by what I am saying. Please listen carefully and try to hear what I am not saying. Charles C. Finn. Think like a man of action, act like a man of thought. Henri Louis Bergson. If you think you're free, there's no escape possible. Ram Dass. If you look like a rabbit, and act like a rabbit, you will be treated like a rabbit, pray for all predators. Stony Loft. It is better to live one day as a lion, than one hundred years as a sheep. Old Roman Proverb. You can't wake a person who is pretending to be asleep. Navajo Proverb. We have seen the mere distinction of color made in the most enlightened period of time a ground of the most oppressive dominion ever exercised by man over man. James Madison, speech at the Constitutional Convention, June 6, 1787. Tolerance becomes a crime when applied to evil. Thomas Mann. Men regard it as their right to return evil for evil, and if they cannot, feel they have lost their liberty. Aristotle. Everything can be taken from a man but one thing the last of the human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. Victor Frank. Whenever they burn books they will also, in the end, burn human beings. Heinrich Hein. He who has seen present things has seen all, both everything which has taken place from all eternity and everything which will be for time without end, for all things are of one kin and of one form. Marcus Aurelius. It is better to know some of the questions than all of the answers. James Thurber. You can't reason someone out of a position they didn't reason themselves into. Author unknown. Weak eyes are fondest of glittering objects. Thomas Carlyle. To my mind it is wholly irresponsible to go into the world incapable of preventing violence, injury, crime, and death. How feeble is the mindset to accept defenselessness? How unnatural! How cheap! How cowardly!
How pathetic! Ted Nugent. Sometimes the questions are complicated and the answers are simple. Dr. Seuss. Who is more foolish, the child afraid of the dark or the man afraid of the light? Morris Freehill. If a man will begin with certainties, he shall end in doubts, but if he will content to begin with doubts, he shall end in certainties. Francis Bacon. One does what one is, one becomes what one does. Robert von Musel, Clean Proser. A wise man can see more from the bottom of a well than a fool can from a mountain top. Author unknown. Do not seek to follow in the footsteps of the wise. Seek what they sought. Matsuo Basho. The capacity to learn is a gift, the ability to learn is a skill, the willingness to learn is a choice. Unknown. All that is needed for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. Edmund Burke. The highest reward for man's toil is not what he gets for it, but what he becomes by it. John Ruskin, 1819 to 1900. History is written by the victors. Machiavelli. Conscience is the most sacred of all property. James Madison, S.A. on Property, March 29, 1792. We sleep safe in our beds because rough men stand ready in the night to visit violence on those who would do us harm. George Orwell. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act but a habit. Aristotle, 384 to 322 BC. Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. George Santiana, 1863 to 1952, U.S. philosopher poet. Life of Reason, Reason in Common Sense, Chapter 12, 1905-1906. The only thing we learn from history is that we never learn from history. Hegel, 1770-1831. Philosophy begins when one learns to doubt, particularly to doubt one's cherished beliefs, one's dogmas and one's axioms. Will Durant, if you have a strong enough why you can bear almost any how? Nietzsche. All the property that is necessary to a man, for the conservation of the individual and the propagation of the species, is his natural right, which none can justly deprive him of, but all property superfluous to such purposes is the property of the public, who, by their laws, have created it, and who may therefore by other laws dispose of it whenever the welfare of the public shall demand such disposition. He that does not like civil society on these terms, let him retire and live among savages. He can have no right to the benefits of society, who will not pay his club towards the support of it. Benjamin Franklin, Letter to Robert Morris, December 25, 1783. Finally, there seem to be but three ways for a nation to acquire wealth. The first is by war, as the Romans did in plundering their conquered neighbors. This is robbery. The second by commerce which is generally cheating. The third by agriculture, the only honest way, wherein man receives a real increase of the seed thrown into the ground, in a kind of continual miracle wrought by the hand of God in his favor, as a reward for his innocent life, and virtuous industry. Benjamin Franklin positions to be examined, April 4, 1769. Having been poor is no shame, but being ashamed of it, is. Benjamin Franklin, Paul Richard's Almanac, 1749. True heroism is remarkably sober, very undramatic. It is not the urge to surpass all others at whatever cost, but the urge to serve others, at whatever cost. Arthur Ashe. If there must be trouble let it be in my day, that my child may have peace. Thomas Paine. He that goes a-borrowing goes a-sorrowing. Benjamin Franklin, from his writings, 1758. Circumstances do not make a man, they reveal him. James Allen. Resolve to perform what you ought. Perform without fail what you resolve. Benjamin Franklin, Autobiography. 1771. When bad men combine, the good must associate, else they will fall one by one, an unpitied sacrifice in a contemptible struggle. 
Edmund Burke. Courage is not the absence of fear, but rather the judgment that something else is more important than fear. Ambrose Red Moon. An unarmed man can only flee from evil, and evil is not overcome by fleeing from it. Jeff Cooper. A deranged psychopath is no match for a well focused psychotic. The Punisher. Wish not so much to live long as to live well. Benjamin Franklin, Paul Richard Zalman Eck, 1746. Experience is the oracle of truth, and where its responses are unequivocal, they ought to be conclusive and sacred. Alexander Hamilton and Alexander Hamilton, Federalist No. 20, December 11, 1787. In disquisitions of every kind there are certain primary truths, or first principles, upon which all subsequent reasoning must depend. Alexander Hamilton, Federalist No. 31, January 1, 1788. It is an unquestionable truth that the body of the people in every country desires sincerely its prosperity. But it is equally unquestionable that they do not possess the discernment and stability necessary for systematic government. To deny that they are frequently led into the grossest of errors, by misinformation and passion, would be a flattery which their own good sense must despise. Alexander Hamilton, Speech to the Ratifying Convention of New York, June, 1788. Let us recollect that peace or war will not always be left to our option, that however moderate or unambitious we may be, we cannot count upon the moderation, or hope to extinguish the ambition of others. Alexander Hamilton, Federalist No. 34, January 4, 1788